What is up? It's your boy Johnny Shrevive, BB Pro, Mr. Tell Like It Is. Welcome back to the episode of the podcast Uncut. Today we're going to talk about sleep and why you're probably fat because of your sleep. You're weak because of your sleep. And you're just falling short on all your gains because of the lack of sleep that you're getting. So this video came up, this idea came up. Um, I saw Dr. Mike do a video a bit ago and it's very funny because guys, I'm always going to give you my advice through experience and education. I'm here to let you know that I am not perfect. I make mistakes too. And how do I fix the mistakes that I have made? Now, so I was watching the video that Mike put out and I'm like, at the same time in my life, I noticed that things were off. Like my mental health was starting to take a little bit of a hit. Like it was hard to manage my my brain. You know, um, things were a little more, uh, I was a little more irritable. My appetite wasn't that, was, was even more diminished. I, training didn't feel like training at all. Like I was just like not really in the mood to train. And funny thing is, is I found out that it had to do a lot with my sleep. See, I crossed off all the other boxes, made sure that, you know, am I eating right? Okay, I'm eating right. You know, I'm, you know, I'm training, I'm training as hard as I can. I'm, you know, all those things, everything is in place as it should, but some reason I'm hitting a wall and I can't figure it out. Well, you know what? I did know what was actually going on, but for me, being an entrepreneur and busy, for me, it was that little mindset of, I got to work. I got to grind. If I get up early and work and grind, I got more time in the day for me to be successful. And that might be the most, that might be the most wrong thing ever. So I got this cool little watch here. I got an Apple watch and I looked at it and then I was just checking. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just take a look at how my sleep has been over the last six months. No word of a lie. I go to my watch, Apple watch. I look it up. I go into my health part here, and then boom, I averaged four and a half hours of actual sleep for the last six months. And it made sense because like at that, that as soon as I as soon as I walked, looked at a metric, I was like, holy, I'm like, wow, really? I'm in bed, you know, I'm in bed average, I'm in bed for six hours, but I'm only really sleeping for four and a half hours. And I look back on everything that was going on in my life in terms of like why? How did I get myself in this position to only be sleeping four and a half daggone hours a night? And my life was pretty busy. And for me being, you know, who I am, I, I was thinking, you know, more hours a day, getting up, whatever, that is going to be what I need to be successful. Only thing is, is that's taking a huge hit on my actual productivity. So we're going to talk about sleep, guys, because this is something that we need to talk about more and more and more. I think every month I should do a video on sleep to make sure that you guys are getting your sleep. Now, to make sure you guys understand sleep and all the great benefits of sleep, let's just read off a couple of things that might make you think a little bit more of why sleep is way more crucial than you think. Sleep and muscle building benefits. Let's just look at the entire, let's look at the entirety. Everyone watches this video here is watching because they're trying to body recomp, lose weight, gain muscle, whatever it is. That's what you want to do. And sleep is the most crucial part of the entire piece of the puzzle. The most crucial. So you're looking at like sleep benefits, hormonal production, essential for muscle growth, all of the great things that happen with growth hormone happens when you're sleeping, when you're asleep, that takes place. The biggest part, muscle recovery, your body is able to just sit down and recover and just relax and recover. You know, when you're, when you're in the gym for X amount of hours, when you should only be there for minimum as much as you can. Your body starts recovering, you know, when you're eating your food, your nutrition is right, you know, maybe you're stretching, you're maybe getting some massaging done, but for it to really recover, it needs to be in a place of rest. Your body doesn't want to recover while it's running around and doing work. It wants to recover when it's sleeping. Improved protein synthesis. All, like I said, all the things that happen, all the chemical reactions, all the things that happen that make, you know, that bring all the pieces of the puzzle and make that great big picture of what you want in terms of success happens when you sleep. Reduce inflammation, increases energy for workouts, obviously. How many times have you like woken up and like, oh, I'm so tired and the rest of the day you're kind of groggy and you know, your workout takes a hit because you're kind of too tired. It improves your overall mood and keeps you motivated, right? When your body's tired, it's hard to be motivated when you're tired, 
right? That's why it's the hardest part of the end of prep for a lot of bodybuilders. It's not necessarily the the um, lack of calories, more so than the lack of sleep that plays a hit on your overall ability to keep, you know, a height or a higher sense of um, of self and in an energy. When you're too tired, how could you be motivated? If you get injured, I've been injured a couple of times this year. I need to sleep. I need to get. I need to be asleep so my body can recover. Recover from training. Recover from injury. Reduces stress, obviously, and then. Overall, it improves your overall health. Like the video can be done right now, literally, and that's it. But like, we need to hammer this thing home because we need to understand why we need to sleep. Well, at the latter, we can look at, you know, the impacts of what happens when you don't sleep. And you can basically say the, the opposite of everything I just said. But for, let's be serious, slower muscle growth and muscle loss. Like you're not going to get the gains you want to get if you are not sleeping. I'm going to say it again. You are not going to get the gains you want to get if you are not sleeping, period. Your strength is going to go down. It's going to diminish for sure. You will get fatter. 100% you'll get fatter. When you go to sleep, you burn about, I don't know, like five-ish pounds from vapor. Like when you sleep and and and, and fat comes off you, it, it's, it vaporizes. It comes off of you while you sleep. You should be losing about five pounds a night from just sleeping. I remember doing preps. When I sleep was terrible, I go to bed at a certain weight, I wake up the exact same weight, and my weight wouldn't really go down until I had my first couple bowel movements. When all the good things should have already been happening while I was sleeping. And then you just start to like really just not like your workouts. Again, because when you're tired, you got to think, think about it. When you do anything tired, are you motivated to do it? You know, when you, when you get up in the morning and you're like kind of groggy and you got something to do like work, you're less motivated to go to work when you're tired. All those things play a massive role in your success on a day-to-day -day basis. So we're thinking about like, you know, how much sleep should someone get? Like, you know, seven to eight hours, maybe even pushing nine. And again, too, sleeping too much, more than that is actually going to play, um, uh, is actually play a negative um, effect on your body as well too. So getting the right amount of sleep around, if you can get eight hours of sleep. Now, why I say eight hours, eight or nine hours of sleep? Well, if you remember the beginning of this video, I was saying that I was in bed on my Apple Watch, it would mark me as in, in bed at for six hours, but actually only sleeping for four and a half, right? So if you think about it, if you're sleeping for eight hours, nine hours, you're probably only really sleeping for like six or seven-ish. So if you think that, oh, I'm going to look at the clock, like, and here's what I do, right? I'm looking at the clock. I don't have to be up in the morning at five o'clock in the morning. It's nine o'clock. I'm already, nine o'clock comes. There's, there's eight hours right there, gone. 10 o'clock comes. I'm down again. I'm like, well, at least if I'm in, by, if I'm in bed by 11 o'clock, I'll get six hours of sleep. Because as soon as I shut my eyes, I'm going to get six hours of sleep. And that is a lie. I will not get six hours of sleep. I will shut my, I will put my head down. I'll ruffle around a bit. I, you know, it will be a couple, maybe an hour before I actually fall asleep. So it's important that you actually get yourself a schedule that puts you in bed for the longest period of time that you can, closest to seven or seven to nine hours. That way that when you are actually asleep, that you are getting proper sleep for all of these great things to happen. And Mike made a great point in his video. I'm going to say the same thing. If you can increase your overall sleep, that is where it's lacking, it will do way more to you in a beneficial way than any kind of drug you're going to take for your body. Right? Why? Because all of things happen when you sleep. When you go to the gym and you're, say you're enhanced or you're not enhanced, you're taking anabolics or taking protein and creatine, whatever it is, you're taking something to aid your muscle growth and increase your overall, you know, performance in the gym for you to see the benefits of that. Your body needs to be asleep to reap all the benefits of all that what happens when you sleep and increasing muscle, your growth hormone, recovery, you know, mood, all of those things play a massive role in your success and progress in the gym. So very easy, quick video for you guys. I think it's very important that we talk about this more and more. More time in the gym doesn't mean more gains. Less sleep doesn't mean more entrepreneurial gains. Less sleep means less gains, less motivation, less recovery. So next time you're planning on maybe, you know, slacking off in your sleep and really going hard the next day in the gym, switch that around. Think about getting the most amount of sleep you can get 
so you can maximize your performance in the gym and throughout your day at work, at home, whatever. If you want to maximize all of the benefits, if you want to maximize all of the fruits of your labor, make sure you go to bed at a reasonable time, get your butt to sleep, and wake up energized the next day. Anyway, that's it for today's video, guys. If you guys like the video and you guys give this a try, hopefully you guys do try this. Or let me guys let me know. Let me know what your sleep is like in the comment section below. Let's have a conversation about our sleep and how we can benefit sleep. Now, just to leave you guys off with something. If you want to know if you're getting enough sleep, very simple. You wake up in the morning and you got to hit that snooze button over and over again. You feel groggy when you get up. You're not sleeping enough. If you're throughout the day, you're you're working and you're you're nodding off and you need to take a nap throughout the day, you're not sleeping enough. Fairly easy, right? Anyway, guys, until next time, guys, Iron Shepherds Iron, because of Overload Your Life. In the meantime, I'll keep Gene chasing. Peace.